the day at Pool Bay. Welcome back to Let's Play Sims 4 Get to Work, Part 12. Um, as you can see here, um, Candy has a new work uniform. That is because I played a little off camera to get some money so we can have our um, retail store, which is coming along really, really nicely, by the way. It's starting to look really great. I'm almost done with it. Just a couple more things I need to add. Um, and while um i was playing off camera candy got a promotion she is now a senior detective which means we have a new um crime scene that we need to go visit that's why i chose to go to work with her today also i had melody go join the um culinary career um just so we have a little bit of extra cash coming in and then she's going to start her uh, retail store as soon as I get that all finished up and looking nice. It is looking really, really, really good. But we do need to hire employees, so it's going to take a little bit of money too. It's just a kind of a long process. I'm not using cheats to get there though because I'd rather work for it. I could say I worked pretty hard for it. So, um, yeah, we're just going to do that. Anyway, here's Candy and her uniform kind of see your tattoos though, but who cares? This is The Sims, where pe you don't get judged for having tattoos. Okay, so I think the first thing we're gonna do today is put the walls up a little bit more. Um, we're gonna have her come over here and get um, the new crime scene. Um, yeah, travel to crime scene. That way we can go, um, get some new evidence and all that good stuff we're gonna have a major blast I love going to these crime scenes I think it's so much fun hopefully later on in the police career we can get some uh, um, we can get some really interesting crime scenes like maybe a kidnapping or murder um I don't know but we'll see I mean, this is a sim, so I doubt there's going to be anything big going on. Oh, that music. That music's kind of creepy. Um, okay, at the crime scene. I think we've already read this before. I don't think it's any different. So, let me see. We need to collect clues, get report from a witness, and take crime scene photos. Uh, of course. Alright, so... We're gonna come in here to this lovely home. Okay, so the fridge was stolen. Um, whenever you do see them blue like this, it means that they were stolen. So we're gonna dust for fingerprint finger <laughs> fingerprints. I don't understand how that works, but since it was stolen, but whatever. Um, <laughs> whatever floats your boat, I guess. Um, here is some graffiti out here. I think that's what it is. Yeah, it's a llama. <laughs> of course. We are going to... Collect evidence sample. Take an evidence picture first. And then collect the sample. Was this stolen? The TV was stolen too. I'm gonna get a report from this guy here. Hmm. What else? Can we just come in here and... Okay, cool. So we're going to come in here and do this first. Since this is a huge room. Let's see here. Getting a lot done. Getting a lot done. That's so cool. She's like, hmm. Do I sense anything in here that's particularly odd? Yes, I do. What is this? Footprints. All right. Does that for simple or whatever it said. I don't see anything else in here that's funny. So we're going to come in this bedroom. Oh, we're also going to have Devin and um, Joseph work hard. 
Anything in here? Is there anything? I don't know. What about the bathroom? Anything in the bathroom? Mm, no. In here, maybe? I don't know. But we are not giving up. I don't see anything. What's this? Oh, okay. Cool. Anything else out here that we need to know about? Other than the um, graffiti? There isn't any stairs, is there? No, so I think that's going to be it. Okay, so we need another witness report. And another crime scene photo. Okay, never mind. Look at this witness report here. Oh, um, yeah, take witness. What was that sound? What was that sound? That kind of freaks me out. What? What's this? Oh, I see. Classy. Classy. Hmm. Okay, so I guess now we can um, return to the uh, police station. <laughs> okay. Um, candy, go. Can we click on the street and do it? Oh, okay, we can. Awesome. Alright, we're back at the police station. And now I think we're going to discuss case theories, theories with co-workers, travel to crime scene, we already did that, and cross-reference samples. Okay, um, first, we need to go to a computer, where we actually do our jobs. Okay, cross-reference, yes. Um, ooh. Yes, do that one. Um, and discuss case theories with him. With, um... Kaylin? Okay, so that's a girl. Okay. Um, cool. No? Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Candy's getting pretty hungry. Actually, don't talk to that person. Talk to this person here. Okay, we got that one done. Add clues to the board over here going to do that. Add some clues. There it was. I'm so blind. Browse the police database. I'm kind of slow at reading these things sometimes. Don't judge me. Um, but yeah, it's all right. I swear she's always kicking people off the computer at work. I find that funny. What's this? Cool. Candy has enough clues to issue a APB. Okay, cool. We can do that. We will do that right now. Where is it? Where is it? issue an ABP? gonna add some more clues really quick. 
because I don't know. I forgot how to do it. Do I have to talk to the uh, chief? Possibly, maybe. Jeez, the cross reference again. Hmm. I have to say, this job is pretty fun. I enjoy it. Or do I have to go on the internet and do it? I don't really remember, to be honest. Or do I have to write it? No. No. Kick his ass off the computer. Oh, not browse. She needs to uh, cross reference. Uh oh, I'm gonna have her stay late because I want her to um get everything done today. Let me see. Okay, analyze evidence. We'll we'll do that. We'll probably issue an ABP tomorrow. Analyze that one. Unless I can find the chief. Where's the chief? I don't even know. I need to use hotkeys more. Hotkeys. Hotkeys are everything in this game. I'm still kind of getting used to it. So, yeah. It's not that easy to me because I'm so used to just using my mouse and clicking around and, and everything. Alright, so someone just made 382 simoleons and that would be Joseph. Awesome. I can't remember, but I think he got a promotion too. That or, um, Devin did? I don't remember. That's kind of sad. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. But we already traveled to the crime scene. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the chief is upstairs. I don't know. Maybe... No. Not upstairs. Alright, whatever. Whatever, we can do that tomorrow. Analyze some more evidence, I guess. This one here. What was that music? Okay, Bills. I think I fixed it, by the way, to where you can hear the sounds in the game. I'm not really sure, but hopefully I did. <laughs> Cool. Come over here and talk to this person. Ah, I said. I don't know. I hate how this game does this to me. It can be rather annoying. Oh, the computer's broken. <laughs> Someone got a promotion. Devin got a promotion. Oh, whoops. Um, okay. Well, come over here and discuss case theories with that person then. Um, Devin got a promotion. I'll read that here in a minute. So it must have been Joseph who got the promotion. <laughs> Cross-reference again. Okay, well, I guess we can cross-reference again. Oh, never mind. 
Candy did a fantastic job today. Ooh, nice. There may be a, a shinier badge and a new title in her near future. Ooh, she earned a lot of money today. Money earned. 913 simoleons. Devin has been promoted to a technological innovator. He will now make an additional 24 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 72 simoleons per hour. He has also received the following bonuses. 384 simoleons. Sims 4 test tube. Um. Thing. And new clothes. His next shift will be Wednesday at 10 a.m. Awesome. So he did really good at work today. That's amazing. And we do need to pay the bills <laughs> before they come and turn our electricity off. I don't want that to happen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's so much. I need to really clear these out more. Kind of boring. I know. Oh well. Um, come over here to this mailbox here and pay the bills, which is 552 simoleons. That's fine. Oh, by the way, guys, I was looking at the uh, collectibles, and since I have been, it's another thing. I had Devin um, dig up a lot of things so we could sell some gems or whatever, and I've been finding these eggs, and we almost have every single one of them. I sold one that we have in the collections, but I'll get it back eventually. But other than that, we only need one more egg, and we will have every single Easter egg. I'm also going to try to collect all the uh, my sims as well. Because that would be a fun project, right? Um, so, we- oh, the fridge is broken. You know what? We're just gonna replace it. And open the fridge. Get some bread. Because why not? Let's see. What kind of mood is everyone else in? Melody is, um, drinking some something and she has a full bladder and she's getting kind of tired whatever we'll just replace the toilet too I don't even care and the shower too I'm gonna have her did we already have her shit we'll just have her use the green toilet I would want to sit on that green toilet why not Ugh, she's feeling really disgusting, so she's going to repair this, or take a shower, and go to sleep. She's also feeling rather bored. Joseph is in bed, and bored. Ebony, I mean, oh my gosh. Melody is bored as well, so everyone's pretty much in a really boring mood. Oh, the sink's broken. whoop de doo Everything breaks. Um, I really don't want to keep replacing. But you know what? We're gonna do it anyways. <laughs> um, what? I, I don't feel like repairing anything right now. Not that she just ate. I'll see you guys in the morning. It is now morning time and Joseph was the first one awake, so I had him come in here and repair the sinks. We really don't need to waste any more money, um, getting rid of things, or, uh, repairing things. But, yeah, this is how you repair sinks in real life, everyone. This is how you do it. Because The Sims says so. <laughs> Why not, right? Um, anyways, I mean, if repairing was that easy, I would do it. Anyway, after he's done with that, he's going to eat some bread, and let me check, um, looks like Devin's going to be the next one to be up, and he's going to come downstairs and have some, downstairs, he's going to come upstairs and have some bread as well. Everybody eats a lot of bread in this house. 
Candy will be next. She's gonna have some as well. I kind of wonder if baked goods doesn't fill up your health. I mean, your energy all the way. Like, um, energy. Oh my gosh. Your hunger. Like, um, regular food does. I don't know. I kind of don't think it does. See? Look. So. Yeah. Um, Melody's probably going to cook a meal. Um cook make some garden salad for everyone make four servings since there's four of them yum oh my gosh a train is so loud there's a train that goes by here every night and it's really really loud I mean of course it's a freaking train of course it's gonna be loud but it kind of gets annoying I'm gonna have Joseph come in here and Salvages for parts. I don't know who we're going to work with today. Maybe Joseph. If he has work. Oh, yeah. Actually, he does in just a few minutes. Um, 24 minutes. So what does he need to get taken care of first? He should probably come in here and use the bathroom after, um, or he's gonna go downstairs and use the bathroom. Yeah, he, he's already on top of that. And then, he'll come up. Damn it! Um, I guess I'll have something to eat at work. Well, for Joseph, he's eating his delicious looking sandwich. It looks like french fries. Mm -mm -mm. Looks really good. And looks like he's enjoying it as well. Anyways, after he gets done eating his sandwich, we are going to go scan a patient's body. We are going to go scan that patient's body. Um. <laughs> okay, so, enough of my awkwardness. We're going to examine patient and scan body. What else do we need to do? We need to swab a patient for a sample, like always. Oh, not deliver food. That's one thing that we always do here in the doctor's office. We always swap for samples. Let's get a look at him. He looks okay. I think. Oh, we also need to, um, run a test. Oh, cool. Run test to find diagnosis? Diagnose a patient? Oh, that's so cool. We can do more now. Awesome. Um. Weak diagnosis? Maybe we should, um, check his eyes first. Get out of here. We have this. We got this. Oh, what did it say? Decent diagnosis. Joseph Miller has an... Okay. Um, we need to go analyze... Or check patient's ears. We're going to do that first. Then we'll go analyze the evidence, I guess. Unless we can give him a really good diagnosis. Um, yeah. Because I don't want to give him a weak diagnosis and be wrong. And then give him the medicine and possibly hurt him even more. That wouldn't be very good. That'd be actually really, really sad. Where is my patient? Okay, there. Oh, compelling diagnosis. Cool. This is so neat. Now, take care of his ears.
Okay, what can we do now? We can... Hmm. Analysis complete. Okay, um, decent diagnosis. What else can we do for him? Can we take his temperature and possibly get a better diagnosis? Because I want really good diagnosis. Um. Well, we should probably just, we'll give him, um, compelling diagnosis. Sorry, I'm reading. Um, bloaty head, no illness, starry eyes. Mm, I kind of feel like that's the wrong one. So we're going to go with uh, bloaty head. I'm not bloaty head, starry eyes. <laughs> Oh, nice. Um, now that Joseph has diagnosed Andre's illness, they can proceed with a treatment of medication on an exam bed. Awesome. So we are going to do that. Um, we're going to treat starry eyes. Oh, whoops. I, I really need to stop doing that. I really need to stop clicking on things and actually use hotkeys for a change. Patient cured. Awesome. Okay. So, we should probably make this bed. And come in here and take care of this guy. Oh, there's llama flu. <laughs> Makes sense. I mean, there is swine flu. Why not llama flu? How do you get llama flu? I don't, I don't understand. Run test to find diagnosis. We'll get that whenever we start examining this gentleman here with the mohawk. I think he's been here quite a bit. <laughs> Analyze patient saliva. That's just what I'm going to call it. Because that is saliva. Oh yeah, whatever, um, I know this is totally not the LP that I should be saying this in, but whatever Desiree on my Sims 4 LP does have her baby, we will be going to the hospital. Because I really want to see that. Oh, what's this? Perform treadmill test on patient. Oh, that's so cool. So, why not? Where? Okay, can we just click on the treadmill and do that? Okay. To perform this interaction, see the social referral to this object, patient. Oh, cool. So, we're going to have to click on the um, patient to do it makes sense. Oh, look at him in his pink slippers. How cute. Um, okay. So how do we do this? I don't... I'm kind of confused. I'm thinking that we have to get more information. Discuss general health with him. Has this patient been diagnosed already? I think he has. No. Llama flu. Hmm. Joseph Miller can now diagnose his... Alright, we're gonna do it. I really want them to do a uh, treadmill test. Let's see, can we have this person do it? Yes! Okay. Oh. 
must be older than a child. Stay late because I want to see this. <laughs> We're just gonna come out here and I guess refer one of them to do it. Yes. Admit patient to exam bed. Refer to treadmill test. Yes. Do it right now. I kind of feel like we ignored Devin. <laughs> we don't do a lot with Devin. Okay. Do it. Do it now. Okay, better. Sorry guys, I'm I want pictures. I always want pictures of this kind of thing. I don't know why. I guess I I just I don't know. There's really no reason. Now that I got my camera how I wanted it. Awesome. Here we go. <laughs> I hate it. Sometimes oh goodness. Don't want her tripping and falling, but if she does and ends up breaking her bone, we're in a hospital, so it's okay. It's convenient. Ooh, test, um, treat patient's illness? Okay, well, she did trip and fall, and Joseph's going to pee. He's going to pee himself. We don't want him to do that, so we're just going to have him come in here and use the bathroom really quick. Hmm. Log the sample analysis results. Okay, so are we done with the treadmill test? How come I didn't get a thing for it? Hmm, I don't know. Kind of strange if you ask me, but whatever. Is it because I didn't complete it? I don't know, we'll figure it out though. Hmm. Okay, his work is over. He did a fantastic job today. But he earned 510 millions in one vacation day. I find it really funny how they repair things in this game. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not realistic. Excuse me, Hanteon. Um, let's see. Candy needs some fun and she needs some social interactivity. So she is going to come here and talk to, um, Mr. Devin here. Brighten his day a little. Have a deep conversation. I need Joseph to get more close with everybody. They're all in the bathroom talking! Oh, never mind, he kicked them out. <laughs> Let's see, Melody. Melody is hungry. Well, Melody, why don't you come in here and cook something to eat? Make some grilled cheese. Make some grilled cheese. That sounds so freaking good. I want some grilled cheese. I always want grilled cheese, though. That That's not surprising. Huh. What does she want? Be friendly with Devin? You can do that. Oh, oh, that scared me. Um, watch the cooking show. Cool. And Joseph's in there singing in the shower. Sounds legit. Um, oh, does it have like a little VCR thingy? That's so cute. Um, watch the, where's the cooking channel? Right here. Where's Devin? Is he sleeping? He is sleeping. Hmm. I'm gonna have these two get a little bit closer. Uh, give him repair tips and...
compliment his outfit and brighten his day a little bit and ask him about his day. Or rather, discuss interests. Melody needs to pee. <laughs> Never mind. Sometimes I'm proud of these sims because I don't have to tell them to do anything. But then there's other times I have to tell them exactly how to do every little thing and it's kind of annoying. But at the same time, I mean, isn't that what we're supposed to do? They start just sitting in here talking. Okay, their relationship is building. Awesome. I think I'm going to start some drama in this house. Start getting, um... Joseph with the ladies in this house? I don't know. Um, propose a crazy scheme. Actually, I'm probably gonna have Candy be the one that is kind of the crazy one. <laughs> so, we're just probably going to maybe flirt it up with him a little bit. Um, we're gonna ask him if he's single. Just be like, hey, do you have like a girlfriend that we don't know about? I mean, I never really hear you talk about one. Ooh, confess attraction to him. Oh, sh oh, he's not liking it. Um, okay. Smooth recovery? Yes. Awesome. I really don't want them to be romantically awkward. Just compliment his appearance. And ask a risque question. Did he? He didn't like it. You know what? Whatever. We'll just have her flirt with Devin, I guess. Who's sleeping? Okay, that's um, Melody. Sorry, I'm singing to that music. I like that music. That was some kind of challenge, but I didn't really read it. Actually, I can read it still. Um, hmm. All nighter. Have a sim stay awake for 24 straight sim hours. That's my life. <laughs> I do that quite a bit, actually. It's kind of, it's really unhealthy, but you know what? I really don't care. I mean, I try not to do it, but it, sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. Um, but yeah. Oh, also here in the hallway we have our little my sim um collectors right here. Actually, since Devin is awake, we're gonna have him come outside. What's this? <gasps> what was? No. No. Hmm. Okay, there's my chef Gino, I think. Alrighty guys, so we have a new option here, um, for serum and for our sim ray. Um, we can upgrade the sim ray to a mind control thingy and we can now make snake oil serum. Um sounds interesting. Um, so we are going to have the seminator. We're going to put that in here and we are going to upgrade it to the um, mind control clean. Awesome. Oh shit. There's my cute little robot though. I wish the little robot would be like on your friend's thing. Um, can we make the snake oil serum? If we can, that would be awesome. We only have it. Okay, what do we need? Drink the serum to cure your sim of any and all sicknesses. Hmm. Um, do we have any notes about the uh, snake oil serum? Let's see. Sorry, this part's really long. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean it. Um, what do we need for it? We need a daisy. 
we need one daisy and we have rose perfume already and we need one basil but I don't know where to get basil so we're just gonna have to deal with it I guess I don't know I'm gonna have them work hard He's talking to the robot. I don't know if you guys can hear it now, but that robot sounds cute. We're going to put this in the inventory. And let's see what else do we need to do. Okay, we need to um, upgrade it to mind control, change it outfit. Give an untasted serum to a co-worker. Okay, upgrade, mind control, change outfit. That's as easy as that. Okay, awesome. I really want to make that serum. Do we have any daisies over here, maybe? Let's see, we have... Oh, normal daisy. Harvest. Now we have change outfit on here. Sounds pretty cool. Analyze a fruit or flower. You know what? Harvest this one too. And then you can come over here and make your serum. Yeah, buddy, snake oil. And then, where's the analyzer? Right there it is, right there. Going to analyze a plant. Blue bells. A cluster of small blue blossoms. Oh, okay. It sounds really pretty, actually. What is he? What's this? Sure ideas. You know what? You are an invent. You are pretty much an inventor, and a scientist. Why not share your ideas with someone? Mm mm mm. Look at that snake oil. Yum yum. <laughs> this is actually a really interesting career. Oh shit! <laughs> is that safe? It's gonna be okay because we're gonna test it on a co worker. Um, do we have it? No? Okay, we do. <gasps> Is that the last egg that we needed? I think it is. Hmm. Order to analyze crystals. Let's see, is it under, um, mischief? No? Friendly? Maybe? I mean, I don't know how that's friendly. Oh, test serum. Okay. Um, snake oil. And tinker with the computer? We can do that as well. So, why not this one? Where is the tinker option? Right here. Maybe he will have a breakthrough. Okay, whatever. I didn't get to give that serum to them. Test serum. Snake oil. Drink rose perfume serum. No. That's I'm going to give that to Melody. I don't I really don't want him drinking it. I want Melody to have it. Um So we're going to come over here. Ooh. What? No. Oh, my little robot. Oh. Come repair it right now. 
Oh, poor little guy. I want to name this robot, though. <laughs> I just don't know what to call it. Stay late. Um, and discuss work with her, I guess. Discuss the latest games. <laughs> we do need to buy a computer for the house, though. We really, really do. What's this? Hmm. It's a fantasy book. Okay, now we can brainstorm. There we go. Look at her. She she isn't even doing her job. Not even doing her job. I swear, these employees on here, they don't really do much. But oh well. Not my problem. <laughs> Alright, stop talking to, um, what's her name? What's her name? I don't even know. But, anyways. Okay, so he can't brainstorm? Devin is far too uncomfortable to do that. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. Use the toilet, damn it. See what I mean? Sometimes they're good and I don't have to tell them to do anything. Then there's other times where I have to tell them to do absolutely everything. And sometimes more than once. Okay. So he did a fantastic job. Or a good job today. Hmm. Discoveries and industrious science were made um bluntly. Um Okay, guys. Well, he made, um, 648 simoleons. Awesome. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end this part here. We did a lot of working today. We went to three workplaces today, which was a lot of fun. Anyway, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this part. Please remember to like and comment, and if you are not one of my kawaii subscribers, hit that red subscribe button below. And I will see you all next time. Sayonara!